Did you know that the next generation of technology is shaping a future beyond our wildest dreams? From AI-driven marvels to breakthroughs in quantum computing, the landscape of technology is evolving at an unprecedented pace. By the end of this video, you'll have a glimpse into a future where the line between science fiction and reality blurs. Let's start. Number 1. Advanced AI Integration Remember when AI was just about asking your phone for weather updates? Well, those days are long gone. Now we're talking about AI systems that can predict weather patterns months in advance, manage city traffic flows in real time, and even detect diseases before symptoms appear. It's like having a super smart buddy who knows a bit of everything and is always one step ahead. Take healthcare, for example. AI is revolutionizing it. There's this AI system that can analyze medical images, MRIs, X-rays, you name it with more precision than human radiologists. It's not just about replacing jobs, it's about saving lives by catching things we humans might miss. But it's not all serious stuff. Ever played a video game where the characters seem to think on their own? That's AI too. These algorithms are learning from your gameplay style and constantly adapting to keep things challenging and fun. Sure, there's a bit of controversy. Will AI take over our jobs? is a question on many minds. But think of it this way, AI is a tool, like fire or the wheel. It's about how we use it. We're standing at the edge of a new era where AI could be our biggest ally in solving the world's toughest problems. Pretty cool, right? Number 2. Human Technology Symbiosis Now let's talk about something even wilder. Humans and technology merging. Sounds like science fiction, but it's becoming science fact. It's not just about wearing a smartwatch or using a fitness tracker. We're entering an era where technology is becoming an extension of ourselves. Picture this. Smart tattoos that monitor your health and alert you to potential medical issues. Or smart contact lenses that can give you thermal vision or zoom capabilities. It's like having superpowers, but in real life. The symbiosis goes beyond gadgets. It's about enhancing human abilities, like exoskeletons helping people with mobility issues walk again or neural implants allowing the visually impaired to see through sensory signals. But here's where it gets tricky. Where do we draw the line? How much tech integration is too much? It's a debate that's just starting, and it's going to be a big one. The potential is enormous, but so are the ethical and social implications. We're charting unknown territory, and it's going to be a wild ride. Number 3. Quantum Computing Unlike traditional computers, which use bits, you know, the zeros and ones, the quantum computers use qubits. These qubits can be both zero and one at the same time, thanks to quantum superposition. Yeah, quantum physics is weird like that. This means quantum computers can process massive amounts of data at speeds that make current computers look like snails. We're talking about solving problems in minutes that would take traditional computers thousands of years. Imagine simulating molecules for drug development or optimizing complex systems like global supply chains. It's not just faster computing, it's a whole new way of thinking about problems. But here's the catch. Quantum computing is also a potential threat to current cybersecurity systems. Our encryption methods? They could be cracked by quantum computers. It's a double-edged sword, and the race is on to develop quantum-resistant encryption. Elon Musk once said, If you're not concerned about AI safety, you should be. Well, the same goes for quantum computing. It's an exciting frontier, but one we need to approach with caution and a lot of smart thinking. Number 4. Advanced Augmented Reality and Virtual Reality Let's talk about AR and VR. You might think it's all about gaming and entertainment, but it's so much more. Augmented Reality, or AR, and Virtual Reality, or VR, are reshaping how we interact with the world and even how we perceive reality. Imagine architects walking clients through virtual models of buildings that haven't been built yet. Surgeons performing complex operations with AR-guided precision. Or students taking a VR field trip to Mars. It's not just about what's possible, 
It's about what's becoming everyday reality. Advanced AR and VR are also revolutionizing training and education. Pilots train in VR environments to handle any flying condition imaginable. Medical students practice surgeries in virtual environments. This isn't just practice, it's preparation for real-life scenarios with zero risk. But here's a thought. As these technologies become more immersive, where do we draw the line between virtual and real? It's a question that philosophers and tech experts are pondering. As T.S. Eliot once said, only those who will risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go. With AR and VR, we're pushing the boundaries of experience itself. Number 5. Brain-Computer Interfaces, or BCI Brain-Computer Interfaces, or BCI, sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, but they're very real and incredibly promising. These devices connect your brain to a computer, allowing for mind-bending possibilities. Think controlling a computer or a prosthetic limb just by thinking about it. BCIs are already helping people with disabilities. There are systems that allow individuals with paralysis to communicate via text that's typed simply through their thoughts. It's groundbreaking and life-changing. We're talking about giving voice to the voiceless. But as exciting as this is, it raises some big questions. With technology that taps into our brains, privacy takes on a whole new meaning. The potential for misuse is something we can't ignore. It's a classic case of, with great power comes great responsibility. We're on the brink of something amazing, but we need to tread carefully and ethically. Number 6. Bioprinting and Organ Creation Now let's explore bioprinting and organ creation, areas where biology and technology blend in ways that were once unimaginable. Bioprinting involves using living cells as ink to print tissues and organs. This isn't just innovative, it's a potential solution to organ donor shortages worldwide. The implications are huge. Imagine a world where waiting lists for organ transplants are a thing of the past, where custom-made organs are printed to match patients perfectly, reducing the risk of rejection. It's a game-changer in medicine. But as with any groundbreaking technology, there are ethical considerations. Bioprinting challenges our views on life and creation. How far should we go in playing God? It's a debate that blends science, philosophy, and morality. The famed physicist Stephen Hawking once said, Intelligence is the ability to adapt to change. Bioprinting is one of those changes. It's up to us to adapt responsibly ensuring we use this technology to enhance life while respecting its sanctity. Number 7. Smart Cities Imagine living in a city that's as smart as your smartphone. Smart cities are not just a futuristic concept, they're becoming a reality, and they're all about using technology to make urban living better, more efficient, and more sustainable. Smart cities harness the power of IoT, Internet of Things, AI and big data to improve everything from traffic management to energy use. Picture this, traffic lights that adapt in real time to traffic conditions, reducing congestion and your commute time. Or street lamps that dim when no one's around, saving energy. But it's not just about efficiency, it's about quality of life. Smart cities can provide real-time air quality updates, ensure quicker emergency responses, and even manage resources like water more effectively. It's about creating an environment that's livable, sustainable, and responsive. However, as we turn our cities into data hubs, privacy and security concerns are at the forefront. As Edward Snowden said, data isn't just data, it's life. So as we build these smart cities, we must also build trust with their citizens, ensuring that their data is protected and used responsibly. It's a delicate balance, but one we need to achieve to move into a smarter future. Number 8. Advanced Robotics Robots have come a long way from just being the stuff of factory floors. Advanced Robotics is about creating machines that can assist, enhance, and sometimes even replicate human actions. These aren't just robots, they're co-workers, helpers, and even lifesavers. From robots that assist in delicate surgeries 
offering precision that surpasses human hands to search and rescue robots that can navigate disaster zones where humans can't safely go, the scope is enormous. And let's not forget about companionship robots that can provide social interaction for the elderly or those living alone. The advancement in robotics is also pushing the boundaries of what it means to work. As robots take on more tasks, we face the challenge of job displacement. But it's not just about losing jobs, it's about transforming them. Robots can handle dangerous or repetitive tasks, allowing humans to focus on more creative and meaningful work. As robotics pioneer Rodney Brooks put it, machines will do what we ask them to do. So it's up to us to ask the right things, to use robotics not just to replace, but to augment and enhance human capabilities. Number 9. Neurotechnology for Enhanced Learning The human brain is amazing, but what if technology could make it even more incredible? Neurotechnology for Enhanced Learning is about using tech to supercharge our brain's learning capabilities. This isn't science fiction, it's the emerging field of educational technology. Imagine a headset that can stimulate your brain to enhance concentration and memory retention, or software that adapts to your learning style, making education highly personalized and much more effective. This could revolutionize how we learn making education more accessible and customized. But as we venture into this territory, we must consider the ethical implications. What happens when some students have access to these technologies and others don't? Could it widen the gap in educational inequality? It's essential to navigate these advancements with a focus on fairness and accessibility. Nobel laureate Kip Thorne said, Science is a way of life which can only flourish when men are free to have faith. As we explore neurotechnology in learning, we must ensure that this new way of life flourishes for everyone, fostering an environment where everyone has the opportunity to benefit from these advancements. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.